Welcome to this podcast of Center of Least Nation. This is Pat LaRusso. I'm joined by my co-host, Lucas Ugenti. And for this podcast, we have a very special guest. Um, you might recognize the last name, um, but we have Spencer Hyman on with us. Welcome, Spencer. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. So, Spencer, how have you been keeping during these COVID times? What Have you been entertaining yourself? It's been crazy for all of us. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit longer than everyone thought. Um, yeah, some Netflix. I'm, I'm watching uh, Yellowstone right now. Okay. On Amazon Prime, it's a crazy show. Really good. Yeah, so no, I've been know. into that, and I'm not sure if you have Paramount, but uh, my friend actually signed the contract for Mayor of Kingstown. It's filmed out of the Kingston pen. Jeremy Renner's the main actor. If you're looking for another show, definitely, um, you know, check it out. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, they actually shoot that in Hamilton. Yeah, there's certain parts were filmed in Hamilton as well. Yeah, it's funny driving by and seeing all the stuff in the background and being like, "Oh, I know where that place is." (laughs) Yeah. Um. So Spencer, you know, we're really excited to have you on. Um. We really wanted to, you know, get to learn a little bit more about the foundation, kind of how it started. Um. You know, I know you guys have done some amazing work with the Hospital for Sick Children. Um, and a few other charities along the way as well through the Hyman Family Foundation. So do you mind giving our listeners just a little bit of background as to, you know, what brought, you know, what got you guys started and and kind of, you know, where it's going? Yeah. Um, so we started the uh, Hyman Family Foundation in early 2020, uh, right about before the pandemic hit, actually. I think we started in February. Um, and the idea of it came uh, back in 2018, um, you know, when, when Zach was really starting to make a name for himself with the with the Maple Leafs, um, and and he'd always want to, you know, look for for ways to give back, um, you know, to the community, uh, give back to, um, you know, obviously the Maple Leafs has such a, a rich tradition with with sick kids, um, and every time that they, you know, the the team had gone there. Um, you know, it was, it was, as Zach would, you know, say really special. And, um, so it was all, all Zach's idea, uh, wanting to, to start a foundation in which we could, um, raise money for, for sick kids and, and other youth charities. And, uh, we've been really successful. We've, we've had two golf tournaments, um, and we've raised over $600,000 for youth charities, oh, wow. um, in two years. Uh, the last two years had to be postponed, obviously, with COVID-19 restrictions, um, but we're extremely excited to uh, to have the announcement that we'll be back this year. Uh, we expect it to be an even bigger event than prior years, um, you know, now that we have, obviously, Zach's Leaf background and, and a lot of, you know, Leafs alumni that will still be there, him being one of them now, um, as well as a bunch of current uh, and former Oiler players. Um, so we look to have a rich tradition of, of both clubs um, in attendance and, and should be a great day for everyone. And obviously the, the main goal and, and the focus is, is to raise as much money as possible for, for the youth charities and sick kids being the, the main benefactor. Yeah, I guess that was my question. It's, it's not just sick kids specifically, right? It's, it's charities all across, all across yeah. Ontario, all across Canada. Is... Yeah. So it's, it's specifically uh, for youth charities, sick kids is the main benefactor. Um, and then the uh, second benefactor is the uh, uh, UJA, which is the United Jewish Appeal, um, and that's um, an UJA federation. And that goes to, we're going to be allocating that funds to helping um, young Jewish kids get involved in sport that, you know, can't afford it or, or don't have the opportunity or the resources. Um, and we're going to be doing that within the Toronto community and the Edmonton community. Um, so obviously, uh, sick kids in Toronto is, is going to remain the, the major benefactor. We've actually made a, an agreement. A, a, we've made a commitment rather, um, to them to, for the next five years to make them the main benefactor. And it's, uh, you know, extremely important to, to our family, uh, and extremely important uh, to Zach. So I guess, how have you guys been navigating the last couple of years? Like, have you guys still been able to do any sort of like online auctions to kind of raise money or, you know, I, I know COVID limited the golf tournament, but were you guys able to, you know, maybe, you know, change course a bit 
to kind of keep those funds still coming in? Yeah, we had we had a lot of different, um, you know, things going on. It, it, it was a little bit difficult to navigate, you know, because you don't really know where this pandemic is going, still don't know where it's going. Um, you know, and it, it's a little bit of a sensitive time to, um, you know, ask people for, for money. Uh, and, and the unfortunate thing with the whole, you know, pandemic is charities are, are really struggling with, with, you know, receiving funds because, you know, people have to worry about their businesses, um, you know, understandably so. Um, but we've, we've really committed to making the event uh, in 2022 the best that it can be. Um, all of our, our uh, sponsors are going to be back um, from prior years. Everyone's extremely excited. Um, and, and we've got a great group of people that are involved in our event and, and that donate to our event. Um, you know, so it, it's, uh, we're, we're lucky in that sense. Now, if, obviously, if you don't mind me asking, what, what is the end goal with the charity? Obviously, you want to raise as much money as possible and you want to donate it. Um, is, is there future plans? Is there, is there bigger aspirations? Yeah, I mean, uh, just we, right now we're focusing on growing it. Um, you know, we started it, like I said, uh, a few years ago. Um, and, you know, each year we've, we've um, been able to bring in more money for charities. Um, and and the, the plan is, is, you know, there's not really, I would say, an end goal. Um, but the plan is to have a sustainable um, source of uh, donations per year um, as long as we can. Um, you know, long after Zach's, you know, done playing our, our foundation, um, our plan is to have our foundation continue to grow. And um, you have different events like the Joe Carter event that happens every year and um, different events like that, that we'll, uh, we'll continue to do. Excellent. And if someone just wanted to make a donation to the foundation, um, how does one do that? Like, do they have to attend an event or is there like an online opportunity that someone may just you know, they may not be able to attend one of your events, but might just want to make a quick donation. Yeah. If you go to hymanhelps.com, that's our last name, helps, H-E-L-P-S, uh, .com, you can find um, all the necessary ways to make a donation. Um, anyone can make a donation. Uh, doesn't have to be for the event, but there are lots of options, you know, to get involved in the event, to golf at the event, uh, to just be at the dinner for the event um or to be a sponsor for the event so um definitely definitely different ways to get involved excellent now i know zach obviously is a big part of the the charity and the organization with his move to edmonton does that change anything on your end and, and being here in toronto not really um i have a co-chair that runs the event with me his name's alex Wahansky. uh alex is tremendous at what he does uh he works with a lot of professional athletes um, and, uh, in management and, uh, and for Zach, especially he deals with a lot of his business endeavors. Um, and he runs the, the golf event with me. Uh, nothing changes on our end. A lot of our sponsors, um, are from Toronto or within Toronto, but we're, we're, you know, coming up with ways to get the Edmonton community involved as well. And, um, over the next, uh, three, four months or so, you'll see, we're going to make a couple announcements. Um, you know, with, with uh, getting, you know, the Edmonton community involved within, within our event. That, that, that would be great. You know, you, you know, you, you know, you had the footprint here in Toronto and now you're, you know, you're looking to expand and kind of have a similar footprint. Um, do you have an idea of, you know, what charities in, in Edmonton that you guys would, you know, you would want to support or kind of what that looks like for you? Yeah, we're, 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 uh, in conversations discussing that, obviously, as Zach gets yeah. to know the community out there more, um, you know, I'm sure, you know, there, there are different uh, charities that the Oilers are tied to, um, just like the Maple Leafs, how we kind of got involved with sick kids. Um, so as time, you know, moves forward and things get back to normal a little bit more, um, we definitely plan to do some things out in Edmonton as well. Um, but right now, just for 2022, our focus is on doing the event in Toronto. And, um, but there will be uh, benefactors within the Edmonton community as well. That's cool. Excellent. You guys are in a really unique position where, I you know, you started in Toronto, obviously. And with Zach's move, you're, he's in a different province and whatnot. But it's, it's kind of unique that you have uh, two sides of Canada, almost two sides of, uh, of both provinces and whatnot, that you're able to do something for Toronto. And you're also mm -hmm. able to do something for Edmonton and, and the province out there. 
Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's it's great. We got you know Western and and in Eastern Canada. So um, you know as many people as we can help. Um, you know that's that's the goal. That's what we're trying to do. And um, you know Zach's a, a huge philanthropist, and um, you know we're just along the way helping him do this. Yeah, you no, mentioned it as much as as much as COVID wreaked havoc on on us and you know the average human. I can only imagine what it did to charities and, and donations and and people who really really needed it the most. Yeah, and really too, when you think about it, like you know we'll be back with the golf tournament in July. Um, it's almost as if people need that release, right? So I'm sure you're getting a lot of people who are like, you know, I can finally get out of my house now. Um, why not invest or participate in an event that's going to help others as well? Um, and golf is always a really good, you know, opportunity for people that go out and do such a thing too. Yeah, for 2022, especially our, our um, you know, initial uh, assessment of, of how the event's looking is it, it looks like it's going to be the busiest one yet. Yeah, we've sold out every year. Um, you know, we actually have a wait list of people trying to get into the event. Um, so we've looked at ways in trying to get it bigger. Um, whether that be just, you know, making the dinner a little bit bigger, the golfing, again, these are all up in the air with COVID protocols. I don't, I yes. don't know. None of us know what it's going to be. The golf course doesn't know what it's going to be. Um, but as time moves forward and, um, you know, things get back to normal or the new normal, um, you know, we'll, we'll be looking at, uh, ways to expand and, and grow the event, whether that be, you know, we've had ideas, you know, obviously Zach's really big into gaming and, and the gaming world and, We've had ideas of doing, you know, events like that, that piggyback off the golf tournament and yeah. um, other avenues around that, you know, like that. So, um, yeah, we're definitely going to grow it in every way we can. But but for, for 2022, we've had extreme interest in the event. Um, it's going to be sold out again. Um, and our sponsorship level continues to grow every single year. So at the end of the day, the, the you know, the most important thing, like I said, and, and the best part about all this is when we get to go to sick kids and deliver a check and, um, you know, just the joy that you feel getting to do that. It's, it's like, you know, like it, it, that, it's, that, it's one of those rewards yeah. where it just, it keeps on giving, right. Every time you see that, that brand new smile of a child that you guys are helping him, it must really tug on the heartstrings at times, eh, Spencer? It, it makes everything, you know, that we do worth it. Um, it makes putting the whole event together worth it. Uh, you know, a hundred percent of the proceeds to the event go to, to charity. Um, you know, and it, it just, it really, you know, when, when you're, you have the golf event and it's great and you're giving people value and, you know, for their money um, and they're having a great time, but, but our events very unique because, you know, when you're there and you guys will, will see, um, you know, you can see uh, just everyone's there for the, the right reasons as, as much as everyone's there to have a good time and, and enjoy and let loose and hang out with Leafs and soon Oilers and, you know, other media members that we have there. It's, you can really see by the, the people that we have um, and our staff and, and the players, um, you know, everyone's there to raise money for charity. And yeah. um, at the end of the day, when, like I said, when we get to deliver the check to sick kids and, um, and to the other youth charities, there's, there's no better feeling and makes everything, you know, that more special. How often are you guys able to deliver a check or, or donate money per se? Is it just a one-time shot or mm -hmm. is it multiple times a year? Yeah, we will... In the first two times we did it, we did a trip to sick kids. Uh, so we've been there twice now delivering a check each time after each event. Um, the other charities we haven't done in person, but it's delivered the money on the same day that we deliver to sick kids. Um, but recently, uh, because throughout the pandemic, we have had donations, which is, you know, incredible. Um, Alex is actually finishing up something with uh, a charity in Edmonton, which will be donating uh, fifteen thousand um, dollars to one of the local charities up there. Um, you know, and uh, with COVID right now, I don't, I don't think we can do any in-person appearances. But again, that's not why we're doing it. Um, yeah. You know, this is this is about giving back to the community. It's about you know giving to people that are in re you know real need of of these funds that will you know, go a long way, whether it's to help save a kid's life or, you know, to help a kid play in, in youth sports that he can't afford. Hockey equipment's expensive. Um, you know, whatever, whatever we can do to, to make a difference, um, you know, and to put someone that's less fortunate in a better position or put a smile on someone's face, that's the, you know, the end goal. Because at the end of the day, like Zach says, he gets to play hockey for a living. 
you know, like nothing better than that. Yeah, right. No, most definitely. Um, Spencer, this has been great. Um, are there any final thoughts um, that you'd like to share with our listeners? Um, you know, maybe how they can get registered and enrolled for the golf tournament or any final mm -hmm. thoughts? Yeah, you, you can check out our website, imanhelps.com. Um, there's lots of different uh, ways to get involved in the event. Like I said, um, our foursome list is, is sold out already, uh, but there is sponsorship opportunities. There is opportunities to buy tickets to the dinner. Um, there is opportunities to donate, um, you know, and many more. So um, there's also, you know, for uh, different vendors, uh, we, we've had, you know, at the event, um, we like to have some type of food or beverage um, on each hole. Um, we've had, you know, some incredible uh, businesses, local businesses uh, that have come out and, um, and have been on the holes, giving the golfers, you know, experience promoting their products and, it's been really successful. And um, so again, there's opportunity for that as well. Um, and other avenues, there's, there's really no, we're lucky to work with such a great golf course in Oakdale golf and country club. And they're, they're going to be hoping that uh, hosting the uh, Canadian open in 2023 and 2026. Oh. So it's, it's a real prestigious course. Uh, you can only play there as a member. So um, unless you're in our event or they do two outside events a year and we're, we're one of them. So um so yeah well that's ways to get involved this Are has you... been a pleasure spencer um you know meeting you you know having you share you know the story uh, of the charity and, and and you know i really look forward to seeing where this goes like it's so much exciting news coming from you know from your family and and, and watching you guys give so much back to the community not a lot of people would do it and you guys seem to do it in spades so you know from i guess from a fan's perspective or from a toronto's perspective thank you yeah, I appreciate it. Of course, you guys are welcome to come out this year. I expect to see you both there. Um, you know, going to be lots of, I would assume, lots of uh, current and former Leafs there. And, um, you know, we're just going to have a little bit more orange in the event this year. <laughs> no, uh, you know, yeah, it's, yeah we, were gonna, we weren't sure if it was appropriate to ask you kind of how the house must now feel divided when, you know, Zach's off playing for the Oilers and the Leafs are doing so well. It, you know what it's uh it, it's it's great it's yeah in a, in a perfect in a perfect world the Leafs and the Oilers meet in the Stanley Cup final <laughs> in a perfect world and, so then we have to ask then is like is the love for your brother more than the love for the blue and white how would you who would you cheer for if that ever did become the case um <laughs> you started you started <laughs> Uh, my, my, mine and my family's allegiance will always be to Zach. So anywhere, anywhere Zach plays, that's where I'll cheer. But having said that, we're happy to see the team doing well. You know, my family has the utmost respect for, for Kyle and um, you know, it's uh, he's a great, he's a great GM. He's great at his job and, and the team's doing great. And, you know, everything's going well for Zach and Edmonton too. So it's uh, like I said, the, the best, uh, the best situation would be if they, they met in the final. No, oh, excellent. That's what I got to ask. Who's the better golfer between you and Zach? <sighs> We're both terrible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give myself credit either. We're both brutal. You know, the funny thing is when he was at, he was in the, the Leafs, um, like, you know, I guess the Leafs do, or they did with, with pre-COVID, like that event with the alumni yep. every year. So he, he like, the guy never plays golf and well, he's trying to, he's trying to, but he hit like a, a 40 foot putt or something <laughs> like something like stupid, like, like, like a pro, a professional shot. Sure. And uh, I remember like seeing on the media, like, like I think um, Paul Henrik and everyone was tweeting like, you know, Zach hit this crazy shot, whatever. I was like, luckiest I've ever, <laughs> ever seen. Yeah. yeah you let him do it again. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a little bit of skill to have that luck, right? Isn't that the old saying? Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's definitely but uh, true. Spencer, this has been great. I uh, will definitely stay in touch. If there's anything that we can do at Center of Loose Nation um, to help you promote your event, you know, always feel free to drop us a line. Um, you know, we're always happy to help charities and um, and help others as well. So, you know, let's definitely stay in touch. Sounds good, guys. Thanks so much. Thanks Thank so much. You. Okay. 
This latest podcast is brought to you by our sponsors, Foco USA and the Counselor on Queen West. Also, be sure to register your email address on our website, centerofleasenation.com, for all our weekly updates directly to your inbox.